make a simple door in Roblox, we're going to leverage the can collide property. So we're going to create three parts here and scale it a bit. And we're going to duplicate it. I use Apple D for duplicate. And we're going to put it right next to each other. Now the one in the middle is going to be our door. So let's make it transparent just so we can see it easier. So we're going to say transparency of 0 0.5, which is 50%. So you can kind of see that that's our door in these three parts here. And then we're going to name it door just so we can clearly identify what part is actually the door. And the way it works is that this door currently has its can collide property set to true. We're going to make sure that all three of these are anchored. So we're going to treat it like a wall and that the character can collide with it and they can bounce off of it, but they can't affect it. So that's what anchors for. Now we got to toggle this can collide on. So first let's make this door interactive. The easiest way to make this door interactive so we can click it, open it, click it and close it is we'll use a click detector. And that means anytime you click it or touch it on like a mobile device. Now that click detector needs some code to basically run every time you click on it. And we're eventually gonna make it toggle the can collide. But for now, let's just write some code, see it work, iterate very quickly, and then move on. So we're gonna take this code and say script. That is this script right here. We need his parent. The parent is click detector. So you see how he's inside of click detector, that's his parent. Now the click detector has a series of events. You can tell those events with a little lightning bolt. We're looking for mouse click. And anytime this event happens, we need to connect it to a function. That means anytime mouse click, I want you to run this code. So we're gonna say connect. Now we gotta put something in there. So let's make the function first. Sometimes people write it like inside of here. I'm not gonna do that. I like to find it up top separate. It's just cleaner for me. So we'll say function door clicked. And we'll print out door clicked, bruh. So we have this door click function and we want anytime the click detector has got a mouse click, we're gonna connect it to this function. So when you click it, it'll print this. If you click it five times, it'll print this five times. So we'll say play here, walk to the door. We can see these walls, I can't move through it, but you see my cursor change? Because that click detector, it's now a, a, a button. So we click it. And you can see door click, bro. And we click a bunch of times. Cool. Now let's toggle this property. So if we have the door closed, we're going to toggle it to false, which means we can walk through it. And if we click it again, we're going to turn it back to true. And you can do this in one line of code. I'm going to do it in both just to show you. We're going to get the door to make it easy. We're going to say the door is script parent that'll give us our click detector dot parent that'll give us our door and we're going to say if the door can collide is equal to true then the door can collide equals false notice we're testing here and setting the value here now we don't want an n we want else if else if the door can collide is false, then set the door can collide back to true. Now, we can read this as if the door is currently closed, right, we can collide with it, and it's like a wall, then set it to false. That allows us to pass through. Otherwise, if the door is open, right, you can't collide with it, you can walk right through, then we're going to set the door to can collide true, and that'll turn it off, basically close the door. So, a lot of code. We'll shorten in a minute. I'll show you a shortcut. But now it's closed. I can't walk through it. We'll click it, and now I can walk through. If I click it again, now I can't. And you can test it by just clicking it while you're through, and you're stuck on the other side. So that's how you make a basic door using can collide. And if you want to shrink this code, you can basically say, set the can collide to not the door can collide. <laughs> you want some bad English, that's how you do it. This basically says, if this is true, set it to false. If this is false, set it to true. So not basically is the opposite. So that's a quick shortcut to get your door to work that way. So it works the same, right? You walk through, close it, can't walk through. So that's how you create a basic door in Roblox using the can collide property of a part 
and you simply add a click detector to that particular part that you want your door and then put a script on it. And that script is wired up to the mouse click of the click detector. So whenever it clicks, it'll fire this event, AKA call this function for you. Your function is responsible for toggling the can collide property of the door. And that's how you can walk through it and not walk through it.